internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Her Chanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John Next Door, Pink Frog and Daisy Chain. Who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend, seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all of your favourite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Hayley West. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. to what is Sue's second hour with us. And I don't know if you were here for the last hour, but it was incredibly busy. This lady's got a lot of work to do when she gets back home. Yeah. Cause a stir again, <laughs> Sue. Hi. Yeah, it was very, very busy. I'm not surprised though, because you always bring us some amazing kits, fabulous projects, wonderful patterns, and the most incredible fabrics as well. Really well, think, nice. Thank you. I think half the thing is having fun fabrics. Yes. You know, because you can go and get your standard flowers anywhere, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes, you know, just a bit of fun. This is it, and you certainly got an eye for that. Um, and, uh, and I have to say, and we did have a lovely, uh, I saw a photo of Yanis actually sporting one of these. He was modelling yes, it beautifully. Yes, he was. Early on, so, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm talking about this wonderful neck cushion kit that we've got for you in lots of different ways, um, and uh, a very popular little item as well. This is a clever idea, and it's one of those ones that if you're travelling, just you must have one of well, these that's it. and because it's got the little hook loop you know if you were in a car 
um, you know yourself, in the back of the car, you've always got that little loop on the, t on the top of the door. And this is what happens when you put this around your neck. You just instantly fall asleep, as our yeah. lovely Yanis has done, as you can see on your screen there. <laughs> Have you seen this that they've got on the screen there? That's Bless right. him. <laughs> oh, doesn't he look right? He's in a happy place there. Um, now, if you were wanting to get hold of yours, I have to say, I loved this fabric. I came and looked earlier on, and it I is nice, loved isn't it? this. Got that little bit of shimmer and sparkle in there. Yeah, but it's not rough. It's not oh, powder no, the not fabric. At all. It's, a, it's in the thread. Isn't it fabulous? Now, mm. with this one, it was a popular one. Now, did this one sell out earlier on? Uh, no, that one didn't. It was the bag in the Oh, the solar. bag version. Yes. Oh, I knew, I knew that the solar... Um, I think kind it of sold out it. twice. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So we will revisit this fabric. So it might be a, an idea for you perhaps to go for this particular one with your neck cushion and the little handbag organiser, which we'll be showing you a little bit later on. Now, that one is your solar option. Um, obviously, we've got this... Obviously, you saw Yanis um, with that one. Then you've got your big five with, obviously your animals as you can see featuring on this one and again a lovely fabric with this yeah well i mean i love big cats yes. and that just reminds me of just you know uh, out on safari when the animals are roaming free have you been on a safari set? yes <gasps> um, i went oh, wow. to um, etosha in namibia okay oh wow and it was lovely did you get to see the big five um I can't remember what the big five um, are. I'm saying that like I remember what they all are. I forget. Elephants, lions. G giraffe, rhino, elephant. We didn't see a rhino. We didn't we see saw a rhino. We a white rhino. <gasps> Gosh, they're quite one, rare, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. Um, it was late, very late at night when it came to the water hole. Yes, yeah. yeah oh, it was wow. my other half's big birthday, so that's why we went there. It was great. And it's absolutely but with that, amazing. The experience. idea is you've got the dark grey on the back. Let me turn um, that around just to show mainly you. Mainly because those animals play in mud. They love oh, nothing better than yeah. to roll in mud. <laughs> um, so you've got the grey on the animals and then... Obviously, you've got your fabulous animals featuring there on the other side, as you can see there. And I love that the little little baby elephant featuring yeah. there as well. <laughs> um, now, within your kit, I just mentioned to you, you are going to get, obviously, your full instructions. You're going to get your fabric for the front and the reverse. So, obviously, with the big five there, you've got the grey fabric. With the solar, you've got that lovely blue on the back there. I didn't show you the blue on the back of that particular one. And your third option that you've got with this one is your piggies. And I love yeah. these. I love little pigs, I must admit. And these are so cute. I mean, this is a fun fabric isn't it? Yeah, but that's it. So you've got serious with the planets, then you've got semi-serious with the animals, then the fun. I love this. And I love the way that you have actually incorporated that white in the back there. It's a lovely, it's almost like a, um, a, um, a watercolour, uh, not a... Uh, it's, like a it is, um, oh, it's shadowed. what's the phrase now? With, it, with your, your posh writing paper that you have that kind oh, of watermark like, uh, in there. That's yes. the phrase, isn't yeah. it? That watermark. Um, and again, with the little hanging loop on there as well. Yeah. well Just with the, the, with the solar think. one, you've got night and day. Oh, clever, yes, of course. I see what you did there. that one. Ah, night time, day time. That's why I chose the, the blue at the back. Love it. So you've got night and day. That's good. So if you're having a little nap, obviously not driving, but if you're having a little nap in the car, then maybe you're going to be using that one in the night time. I, did, I didn't that. think it was right to put a pig sty on the back of the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Busy, busy, busy for that solar <laughs> option. Lots of you taking advantage of that one. And at fourteen ninety nine, I can understand why. Now, with regards to these, so if we want to make these and sell them, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, what I've used to actually stuff them is um, toy stuffing, but you can use toy stuffing or any fibre. Okay. Um, I mean, a lot of your pillows, mm -hmm. you Good can point, use that yeah. stuffing. Yeah. And to be fair, that's a lot cheaper than the toy stuffing. You're probably right there, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so there you go. Um, so you could actually be making these or giving them as gifts to people, and they're certainly going to be well received. So um, at 459, at 327, if you're wanting to get hold of those. Mm -hmm. Now, we were busy in the last hour, not only for those fabulous neck cushions, but also your handbag organisers. And I love something that is going to get me organised. And with my handbag, I'm, honestly, it's, yeah, you can't find anything in there, so I definitely need these. Now, the solar one did sell out earlier on um, and uh, the additional stocks sold out on that one as well so we haven't got that one as a choice for you anymore but what we have got a new addition now we haven't got a finished sample of this one because I think we're going to see it being made up are we the, uh, the no, piggy, piggy um, one no but you've been able to do it yeah so. uh, 
been able to do it. It's as hard as some, imagination. It's just that I've got some of this pink fabric, so it was easier to do it that way. Not a problem at all. So use your imagination for your fourth option, being your pink fabric. But of course, you're going to be able to make your little bag. Now you've got obviously the different ones. This one is limited in stock as well. Um, and again, what we're getting within this kit then, uh, Sue? Uh, you get everything except for a reel of cotton and your sewing machine. You get your main fabric, your lining, the wadding, the hook and loop tape, and also the lobster clip. I love that. And of course, that's perfect to clip it into your bag so you're yeah. not going to lose it. Love and on that. the earlier show, what I did, um, w when we were actually looking at the counter earlier, I just suddenly thought, hang on a minute, if I put a piece of fabric at the back, we could make it so that you could thread a belt through it. That's a good idea, yes. Yeah. Um, good tip, that it's one. It's around somewhere, but... That's all I did. I just cut um, an oblong of fabric, which was 10 centimetres by 5. Um, and literally, when I cut it out, I just stitched down the, down the side, along the bottom and up, turned okay. it out, yeah. and then folded it in so we ended up with a nice clip, and then placed that on the back. And did you do that in your last hour? Yes, I did. Oh, what time was that then? That was the three o'clock. Oh, okay. So we can go but back and I'll watch do, that. what I'll do, I will actually, I'll amend the pattern okay. and I will incorporate that in the pattern now. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. Um, so if they're wanting that, that kind of yes, belt as band. An option, just because then you can thread a belt through the back. That's a good tip like that one so yeah keep your eyes open for that one on your pattern now here you can see you've got your choices so don't forget we have got the piggy fabric as well but these are your three options that we've got for you as well so you've got your navy with those beautiful little ditzy flowers in there very pretty you've got your shells there with that fabulous little clamshell and the and the feathers but do remember the feathers is limited in stock with regards to that one and if you're just wondering what the pig one is I can show you the actual fabric we don't have a finished bag but it just shows you the fabric that you could be working with if you wanted to make your uh, little handbag organizer in your pig fabric 11.99 whichever of those you choose you go to go for and 047 227 is the all important item number and of course if it is a feather one that you're going for make sure you do it quickly because I'd hate for you to miss out on this one another few options to share with you and this is lovely now this is your purse or a purse slash wallet kit because it's up to you how you want to make this um, and I think we saw this in the last show you were with us because I think yes that's the first time you brought it yes it was that's right very um, clever design but i've bought two new designs with it uh one is the batik oh that will be this one here then and the other one is the bold lovely that's very bright and Oh, that's funky, isn't it? I like that. Mm, I like that one. Um, and then, of course, you have got that gorgeous original that we saw when they first came out. And these are nice because what you're making here is something that I think is such a clever idea. As for, you've got, obviously, your pockets there, so if you have any of your paper money or your tickets, maybe. Your mobile phone. Good idea, yes. That, that, when I um, designed it, that was what I did because I'm so fed up in taking a purse and a mobile loose and I'm just nipping to the shop. So that's like, so it's almost like I, a little if clutch I put a bag, big pocket yeah. in, I can drop the mobile in there. Clever idea like that then we turn that round then obviously you've got your little segments here for your store cards, your credit yes. cards yep. like that plenty of room within there and then you've got your zipper pocket as well so that could be where you're putting your money then so yeah. putting your, yeah. your paper money or your coins in there as well and um, it's all beautifully lined throughout absolutely and gorgeous it's, it's quite a nice size like, i mean if you're on holiday or anything you know and you just want to take because more often than not you just take a purse a key yeah, and your well, phone it, exactly um, of course you've got options so you have got that fabulous bright fabric as you can see there so maybe that is the option that you're going to go for you've also got your batik with this one and have we got the mustard as an option as well Oh, we have got the mustard as an option. But also got your red and cream, which I haven't got in front of me here. Uh, so it's, too the, it's on the floor here. Oh, I'll pass no. It over. Is that Yanis throwing things around? Yeah, yeah, you probably. hang on to that, Sue. So do you want us to show us that one? If you take, if you pop yourself down, and then we'll show, yeah, um, we can show, can show it from here. We can show everybody that, that one off. So you can see you've got your three different options that I've got here. The fourth option is the one that Sue has got, and that's a really pretty fabric as well. I like that one mm. as well. Um, so do you want to pop it down onto the mat in front of you? And we can yeah, have a little look at it, it there as well because it shows up nicely there that's hmm. nice it's got a very kind of moroccan look to it that yes. one yes um and they've just got a different color zips in just what i thought blended i mean with the batik and the bold 
um, there'll, be all, there'll be an assortment of zips going in there. They won't all be the same colour. Wonderful. Now, the, the red and the cream, the one that Sue's got there, um, alongside the mustard that I was just showing you a few moments, have been the most popular. And, of course, as Sue's explained there, you can make these up and sell them um, if you're wanting to. And, of course, think about incorporating your own fabrics as time goes on. These would be fabulous if you're potentially using something like a, maybe a faux leather. Would that work with these? Um... I don't Maybe think for the it, outer wrap. Yeah, the, uh, as long as you only use the outer. Because you don't want it to be too thick. You need to be, be able too to fold bulky, it, otherwise don't you? you wouldn't yeah. be able to sew through it. And then when yeah. you're turning it and you're doing your top stitch and you just Good wouldn't point. get a needle through yeah. it. But you could potentially make almost like a wrap to go around yeah. it, couldn't you? Yeah. 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 There you go. So $14.99 if you fancy getting hold of yours. You've got lots of choices with regards to your fabrics there. So six two nine five six seven if you're wanting yours. Now have a look at these. These are beautiful. This is your cushion cover kit. Love these. Now you can see there the details on your screen there. Love to sew. All those hearts and that fabulous sewing machine. I love this. The good old mechanical one with a little handle yes, on there. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. They've got such personalities, haven't they, those? Now, again, you've chosen some really nice fabrics, sir. Thank you. I'm trying to pick a combination of colours. Um, and what we were saying earlier, with those, if you didn't want to make the cushion cover, what you could do is use the front and make a, uh, a collage. Oh, OK. Because you could actually get some thread and embroider so it looks like the thread's coming from the needle. Clever, yes. You could put something on the front. So you could build on that and actually have it as a, a picture or something hanging on your wall. That's a really good point. I like that idea. Now, of course, you're going to get your fabric to create your cushion, the front and the back. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and then you've got options. So you've got your blue with those gorgeous turquoise blues in there and that gorgeous kind of gold thread running through. It's almost like a mesh overlay, as it looks on, on there. Getting a good size piece of this fabric as well. Let me show you. So, uh, of course, it might be that you you're loving the design but you've got another idea another plan for using this fabric here I'm looking at this and I'm thinking the wallet could you actually make the wallet out of this or the purse what yes. size piece so there'd be enough fabric in there potentially to do that um, mm. I'm almost mm. sure yes yeah oh, there is. just be careful obviously do your measuring before you do your cutting yeah. just to make you sure would get, you would get it out yeah I like the idea of that, actually. And, of course, you are going to get your fabric for your cushion um, cover alongside it with your applique pattern and, of course, all your full instructions. So that one is your blue version. The purple um, and green version is one we are calling green, and that one is where you've got, again, that ribbon effect there with the beautiful purples, deep tones there, mid-tones, and, of course, that little gold foiling running through it as well. And, again, your applique design included alongside your pattern. £16.99 and 913277 if you fancy getting hold of that one and then the next one that we've got and again this is something that we had in a show and I worked with Sue before and it was a very popular item and I think was it your nephew or your grandson that you'd made one of these little water um, bottle godson. carriers for your godson that yeah was he it. takes his everywhere <laughs> and I think was it the, the dinosaur one that was he was at work um, I'm just trying to think is I it can't a remember now it's a while ago since we did that yeah, show I think I think it is a dinosaur that yeah. he's got. And I love it there. And you can see dinosaurs, I love the faces on there. So you've got choices. You've got your mermaids, you've got your dinosaurs, and you've got your gorillas, and you've also got, what's the last one that we've got with that one? It's safari. It's been, it's been around that quickly. I didn't have a chance to see it then for a moment. So you've got there, you've uh, little mermaids there, as you can see. And again, fabric for the inside and the outside. Yes, and the wadding. Um, I mean, if you've got the safari one, and you've got the fabric pens, you could actually paint the animals in. And that, that, I think that's a brilliant idea. I know Hayley Smith bought some fabulous fabric pens. They'd be lovely for that mm. idea, wouldn't they? Do add your colour, though, before you start stitching it together. Because I think it could be a bit tricky once yes. it's three dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> so that one, if you're wanting that one, then obviously that is your safari option. Um, we've also got the dinosaurs that we did touch on a few moments ago, um, which is this one, which I think is really cute. I mean, we all love dinosaurs, regardless of age, yes. really, don't we? Uh, so that's a really good fun. Perhaps you're just making it for somebody who is a dinosaur. 
<laughs> a little bit cheeky there, but you never know. Um, and then the final one that you've got, this one here, which I love, and again, it is, you've got um, obviously your gorillas featuring with this particular one, all having a whale of a time there, as you can see there. So uh, $9.99, any of those, you choose, you decide, and of course, you've got all the elements that you need in there. As Sue says, you just need to add in your thread and the sewing machine, and away you go. And it's just £9.99, pence, whichever of those you go for, 025612. Now, Sue, we're going to come over to you for your first yeah, demonstration. Yeah, what you could do with those water carriers as well, um, you could actually make them up and use them as little goodie bags. Oh, okay, When yes. children are having parties, you know, you Good drop idea. little bags of sweets in. And, you could, yes. And yeah. then they've got a bag to take home, which they can nice use idea. for other things. Love it. It's not there too big. Right, like what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the neck cushion. Ah, oh, um, now, of course, the neck cushion, don't forget, this is the one that you've got all those different options. The piggy fabric, you've got your space, which is your solar option, and, of course, you've got your big five with the animal. So which one are you going to be Could working with? The pig. With, so? pig. The pig. Yeah. Lovely. Pig. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, the hanging loop, and that's quite easy because um, you'll, cut, you'll cut it all out, and then all you do is you fold it in half, and I finger press it. Just finger press and then fold the outer edges to the centre. Again, just finger press. You, you, know, you don't need to get the iron out for this bit. Fold it over and then what we're going to do, we're just going to do a row of stitching down each side. It's a nice easy project um, and with the filling uh, it takes just under a bag of the soft toy filling. Okay. But if you got, if you were using an old uh, a pillow, I love that tip. That's a really good one. Yeah. yeah. You'd you'd get two out of that quite easily because of the size of the pillows. Um, and it was actually somebody that told me about that, uh, and they said, you know, basically your toy filling and, and your fibre, as long as it's a washable one, it's the same product. Mm -hmm. So, Clever. Yeah. You know, and if you're making them to sell, then that will save you quite a bit of money. Well, this is the key thing because it kind of all of, um, eats into the pocket, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. With these? I mean, if you're just making them for a family in the car, well, you know. you're just keeping your cost down for yeah. the stop. Yeah. So that's the tab, and it's so easy. So then, what we need to do, we get the pillow, and just decide which side you want the tab on, and then all you do, fold it in half. Pop it. I mean, I have on the pattern. I have put a mark on it, so you know where where to place it. But it's it, it's a matter of choice. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to base that in so that it won't move. Lovely. Now, while you are doing that, Sue, um, I've just got a little bit. Of, I'm just kind of playing around here, um, which. Um, Something I've just thought of, because of course we've got a new addition. The reason I'm bringing this in is two reasons. Obviously we've got the neck cushion that um, Sue is working with. We've also got one of the little handbag organisers, the feather one. I need to let you know that that one has sold out now. But of course we have got a new option with regard to the little bag organiser, um, organizer, which is the piggy fabric. And I'm just thinking, if you've got, maybe you've got um, grandchildren or nieces or nephews that you're taking on um, in the car on a journey, well, the neck cushion attaching it to, on the little loop there, there could be like a little bag of, I don't know, it could be pencils, a little mini colouring book in there, oh, um, yeah, sweeties quite, for the journey. Yeah, and easily, I just think that's a nice idea. Easily. Yeah, put them and together. We, uh, and we said earlier on, with the neck cushion, where you've got your little hanging loop, I mean, if they're any young children and they're still having dummies. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yes, then yeah. you can always attach that so that at least it's not going to fall on the floor in the car or yes, wherever. Yes, yeah. So what we now do, we place the lining, the, the main fabric and the lining together, right sides together. And um, we're going to pin all the way around because we don't want it to move. Leave a gap for turning. Mm -hmm. Now what I tend to do, I leave the gap on the opposite side to where I've got the tab. So, and it's on the in, inner curve. So we'll just, and it really wants to be big enough just so you can get your hand in, otherwise it's a bit of a mess, and believe you me, I've done it. <laughs> Trying to get the stuff in through if you can't get your hand in. Why do we do that? We always make that hole, that, you too small. we don't like the hand stitching afterwards, yeah. you think it is? You'd think we'd learn, wouldn't you? <laughs> but no, 
I think it was the... I don't know if it was a pig. No, it might have been. It might have actually been the solar one that uh, I did the gap too small and then couldn't get my hand in. <laughs> and it took oh, it took ages to stuff it then. Um, because, of course, I wasn't going to unpick anything. Well, we don't do, we? No, we We're don't do unpicking. Too stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> too stubborn a Sarah to unpick. <laughs> that meant turning it right side out again. <laughs> But as I said, this comes together so quickly. It takes longer to stuff the cushion than it does to make it. But I do advise pinning all the way around because you don't want it to move. Is this an easy, easy um, project perhaps for a new sewer, somebody who's perhaps oh, not tackled yeah. a project before? Easy. It is so easy. It's all straight stitching. Um, and as you've seen, it's just a tab. And then you've got two main pieces. And you can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. She said famously. <laughs> um, now, the pig option, uh, which is the one that um, we're working with at the moment, just to let you know, that one is now limited in stock. I'll show you it again in its finished format, but, of course, um, Sue is working on this one. Uh, and, of course, the key thing I'm going to mention is this one. Look at your fabric when you're actually laying out your pattern. It is a directional fabric. So if you've got a preference of which way those little pigs are going to be sitting with your finished project, just bear that in mind with regards to it. So if it's the pig option, that one is limited in stock. Something else that is approaching limited stock and I'm not surprised this is the solar option as well and that maybe you did get hold of the handbag organizer earlier on in the solar option and you're thinking yeah it's a nice idea about um, attaching it to your little neck cushion I mean if you're traveling you could even put things like your passport and things like that couldn't you in that pouch with your neck um, cushion ready for you to get on your plane if you are going on a longer journey um, and again you've got a lovely contrast that you've got here you've got your daytime and your nighttime working with that solar fabric can't forget the last option though with this one because that's where you've got all those wonderful animals the big five featuring in this one and here you can see all the different elements that you've got there with your different animals there including a little tiny baby elephant there so so cute your zebras obviously all the different animals featuring within here giving you a wonderful finish and again i think we've we got a gazelle in there i think we have oh yeah over here gazelles yeah that looks like a gazelle yeah is it an antelope there it's like the eye spy, isn't it? Yeah. Do you love it? <laughs> Which no. animal can you spot? I think first? you need to make one of these with tube stations on there. And it's almost like the eye spy <laughs> ticking off those tubes. So, <laughs> so keep your eye open for some of that fabric. Um, on the back there, Sue has mentioned that she chose some that are kind of depicting the, the, the muddy, uh, the muddy play area, shall we say, for all those wonderful animals. So there you go, fourteen ninety nine. Whichever of those you're choosing, you are going to get a fabulous um, result with regards to those. So there you go. That is your big five there, and then of course you have got your um, solar and finally you have got your pig but if you're going for either of these now your pig the next person to place their order for this one is going to get it the person after that isn't so that is the key thing if this is something that you want i'll give you a bit of a clue as to how many you've got left of these so if you're wanting the pig fabric please don't leave it to the end of the demonstration because i think you're going to fill, um, miss out on that one in fact somebody has taken my words of advice not often that happens but you have you popped it into your basket remember to check that basket somebody out somebody was listening <laughs> that'll be, me, I, that'll be my do, mother what i do with the kit with the cushion i actually go round twice because um, that cushion is going to get a lot of stress okay. when you're putting the stuffing in because you want it quite firm. So if you do a double row, I go round once and then just, it's about a quarter of an inch in, just go round again. Does that stop your stuffing hanging out then, Sue? Yes, <laughs> hopefully. With two rows of stitching, it shouldn't come through. Um, and, you know, as I said, that, that's so easy to make. But the thing is, you can have them that once you've got the pattern, you can have them in design that you want rather than what you would buy in the shop. And they're nearly always that fabric that makes you sweat or you, your neck gets clammy, where these are 100% cotton. Now, oh, the piggy, the piggy has gone. We're going to let obviously continue with the demonstration because we're so far through it. But just to let you know as well, the solar. Now, is this one limited stock? And you had a feeling it would do. Uh, I mean, look at that fabric. And this is the one where you've got that kind of little glitter within the fabric. Again, we did have a similar fabric. Well, it's the same fabric in the handbag organizer earlier on. That sold out twice. So I wouldn't be surprised that so many of you that ordered that in the last hour at three o'clock have come back and gone for that particular one alongside it. So, yeah. Um, be quick if you're going for the solar one. The 
were saying earlier, I mean, once you've got the pattern, you could actually do them in a fleece fabric. Oh, that's a nice idea, um, yes. You know, they'd be nice and cosy, wouldn't they? Wouldn't it just, yeah. And I'm guessing you could kind of have um, fleece on one side and, and then cotton, and on, the cotton on the other. Sometimes as well with children, my my, um, my son has got Asperger's and he's very sensory and there's certain fabrics that he finds very comforting. Yes. So yes. something like that, it may be something that's um, worth considering as well. Obviously do your own research with regards to that, but uh, yeah. So right, I've gone all the way round. Now, all I'm going to do because you, uh, if you've got an overlocker, you could just overlock it. A good point, yes. Um, you know, um, that would be a lot easier. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around and just cut fairly near to that second set of stitching. Um, because you don't want it to be too bulky. But unfortunately, you can't do this beforehand. You've really got to get that second row in. Um... If you want to, you can overlock, you can just zigzag over the edges. Um, at least I sharpened my scissors earlier, so. Uh, that's okay. As I said, the, 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 the thing that takes the longest is actually stuffing the cushion. Now, while you're trimming around this, though, we've had lots of people place an order during this, and I haven't even shown you these. You have been must have been jumping onto the website and having a little look. Sue brings these fabulous wine bottle carriers, and we've got a single one, which is the one that I've got here, and we've also got a double um, available for you as well. So these are proving to be popular. Um, there's different options with regards to this one. So the single one, you can see details have popped up on your screen there. You're going to get your fabric that will allow you to create the outside as well as the inside. And this one, it was named, was it a lady's name? that you gave this particular Isla. thing. Isla, that was it. So Isla with regards to oh, the no, fabric. Oh, sorry, that's Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, that's Lizzie. Lizzie. Yeah, that's Lizzie. Lizzie. Um, so with this fabric, this fabric is 100% cotton, but it's actually almost like a canvas fabric as well, which, of course, is important because if you're carrying a wine bottle, then there's a certain amount of weight to that. So this is a brilliant idea of um, presenting a bottle to somebody. Um, a nice kind of alternative to gift wrap with this one, so Yes, and, and once you've made them, you know, the first one you think, I'm stuck, but that's why it's got my number on, just in case. Um, but once you've made one, you, I guarantee you will make plenty. Well, You'll make many of them. Well, this is, it's a popular um, one, yeah. I mean, with the single one, if you were going to a wedding and you were taking a bottle of champagne, nice, yeah. what you could do with that, you would extend the neck. Oh, I see. So that's uh, the pattern. That's right. When you cut the pattern, what I would do, I'd add two inches to the bottom of the pattern. Okay, so to make this yeah. a deeper segment here. And, okay. Uh, right at the very top, I'd just add an inch. Just to make it a little bit longer. It's kind you of know, that shoulder three centimeters, area. Just so you've got that extra depth. But if you were going to a wedding and you were taking a bottle of champagne, you could actually do that in a really nice fabric, wedding-y fabric. You could almost embroider something exactly. on there, you could you embroider you it, to, If you use yeah. a plain fabric or something like this, a shadow, you could Clever embroider idea. the wedding and the date. Yes, yeah. And really make Clever it a personal idea. gift. Love it. It's a popular one, this one. 80% of the stock has gone. Um, and now, something that's equally popular is the double bottle one that we've got. And again, you've got the Lizzie fabric again, which we saw a few moments ago. And this is a nice one, potentially, if you wanted to um, give it a bottle of red and white wine, maybe. The script is another of those options that you've got. But of course, it doesn't have to be a bottle of wine. It could be um, maybe um, bubble bath. It could be shampoo and conditioner it could be a little kind of um, pamper kit yeah. um, and some people actually use it as a knitting bag and what they do they put their hand they put the wool in put their arm through so the wool's not going all over the That's floor a clever idea yes. knitting or crochet um Love it. That's a clever idea, actually, because you've got plenty of open area there for your yarn to come out. That's Love it. Those. You know, it's got a lot of uses. I know when I designed it, I, ne I really never imagined it was going to be as popular as it is. Well, this is it. Now, if you're wanting the double, you've got your two options. The script being the lighter of the two. And, of course, that gorgeous Lizzie fabric, again, $16.99. Um, choose either of those. You can get your canvas a fabric. Again, the Lizzie is proven to be popular. It's such a lovely print, isn't it, that fabric there? Um, and, again, you can get the fabric for the outside, the inside as well of this particular one. And, of course, the pattern that you can reuse over and over again. So, uh, yeah, a good investment of anybody's money that particular one. How are you getting on over there, Sue? Right, what I've done, I've turned it right side out 
And then what I, what I always say, the best thing to do now is just push the stitching out, pull it out, and then press. Okay. Because when you press, you're also helping the cotton to bind. Right. So, it, you know, it, well, it doesn't take too long, but just take your time to get that nicely pulled and out. it gives it the professional finish as well, doesn't it, when you yeah. press it? Um, and you can have a nice hot iron because it's all cotton. So you haven't got to worry about the, the iron being too hot, really. And you've done exactly what I do when I, I demonstrate and I use that iron. I, I can't get used to the fact I that can't. it lifts up by itself. No. <laughs> I still stand it on yeah. its end. <laughs> I've been ironing for far too long to get used to one that I can leave. Because I know what I'll do. But I'll get used to this. I'll go home. And you'll burn everything. I'll pick my iron up and then leave it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble. Um, now, just as you're pressing that suit, let me just let everybody know. Um, again, we, well, I was about to tell that this had sold out but that one last person hasn't checked out their basket and they left it a little bit too long so that one option is left now it's fallen back into our stock availability so you're gonna have to be quick with this one don't forget you've got the fabulous solar fabric there with that um, sparkle the sparkle doesn't come off it's not itchy or scratchy so please don't think if you put popping it around your neck it's not going to irritate um, uh, with that kind of scratchy feel and of course you've got your contrast there of your daytime fabric um, complementing the nighttime fabric that you've got there. So if you did want this one, I was about to tell you that you can't get hold of it anymore, but there is only one left. So make sure that you're checking your basket out again with that one. This counter is getting a little bit sparse now. It is, isn't it? I know I was amazed after the, the show this afternoon um, when they came up and told me the stock. I, I just couldn't believe it. You know, um... But it's nice as well to come up with something that is very useful. Um, and when I, when I came up with the idea, it was so that you can get, for me, what I will use it for and what I use mine for, I put a bottle of hand sanitizer in it. Okay. A pack of wipes, mm -hmm. my face mask. Oh. Good idea. And then I know because I can clip that either. I can put it in my bag and clip it with the lobster clip, so it's inside. Clever idea, yeah. Or sure. I can attach it to the outside of my bag, so that if I'm going anywhere, I know I've got everything in that bag. Well, this is the key thing. Um, yeah. And the other thing is, um, you can also get your mobile in it. It's a good idea. It's a really good size um, pouch as you've um, got there. Um, and we're down to the last two options with this one. Actually, no, we've got a third option because we've got the piggy fabric, haven't we? I forgot we've added in the, fa and the fabric with the piggies on there. So, yeah, that is your third option. You'll have to kind of imagine that one because we haven't got a finished sample of that one. So what I've done now, I've pressed it quite firmly so that that, that seam is now absolutely... Beautiful. Stitched. It won't move. So then what you would do, I mean, I'm not going to do that now because it will just take the rest of the time. Yes. Just open it up and stuff. Now, what I would do, I would start stuffing so that you're pushing it all round to this end first. Okay. The end that is not open. Right. Because then you can keep pushing round and round till you get it as firm as you want it. Mm-hmm. So I, I would do this end first, then I'd come round to probably three quarters and then I would do the top end and then leave that last bit okay. so you really can push the stuffing into good, it yeah good. and then all you've got to do is just hand sew just the gap in the side lovely so thank you for explaining that beautifully it's, there it's so easy to make I love it. And of course, it's washable. Um, right. So there you go. Um, only got a couple of those options. Sue, so I'm going to let you get ready for your next demo. I'll be back with you in just a few moments. Okay. So um, again, the neck cushion, big five, and I think we might just about have that solar just hanging on. I'm going to step away from Sue for a few moments, so you're not going to miss anything with regards to the demonstration. So now is the time for you to check those baskets out. So um, the solar, again, has technically sold out. So that person that's popped it into your basket, please make sure that you do complete your purchase. So we have really only got that um, big five 
five option left but of course the pattern is brilliant and uh, you've got that gorgeous fabric alongside it so uh, there you go if you're wanting to go for that one um, next thing I'm going to touch on is that fabulous handbag organizer we've had sellouts with this particular one we sold out of the solar twice we've also sold out of the feathers but um, of course Sue the lovely Sue has incorporated an additional option which I don't have the fabric to share with you but it's the one that we just saw a few moments ago with the pigs on there and you've got your options that we've got on the screen that are going to pop up which are your lovely option with your little shells in there with your little pearls in there as well so that's your shells and then your navy is that lovely little ditzy flower which I think is lovely because that's kind of like an, an ageless whether it's a, a little girl a little boy or an older person that's actually using that one it's not looking out of place is it that print 11.99 you're going to get obviously your backing fabric your wadding your front fabric and then of course you have got your hook and loop there and your lobster claw clasp because of course you're going to need all of those elements to make sure that your bag is safe and secure when you come to use it 11.99 047.227 if you fancy getting hold of those now the purse and wallet this has been a popular one we've got loads of options with this one so um sue has got one of the options over by her which is the red and the the cream but then um it's a very popular one it's kind of like a moroccan design that one i've got the mustard here with those lovely swirls and the little leaves and the idea is with these you have got that wonderful um segment there for your phone to go in then of course you've got the little pockets there for your card store cards and then of course you've got your zipper there which means that you can pop your money in there if you want to see the moroccan version the, the red and the um, cream have a little look at it oh sue you just <laughs> it's all right we've got the camera all set up then but don't worry don't worry if you hold it still there just for a few moments we can show you there this one is now rapidly approaching limited stock so thank you for holding that so that looks lovely um, and then of course you've got your other two options your bright as you can see there with a gorgeous power of color there that's I love that really funky look that one isn't it you certainly wouldn't lose that one you'd see that one in your bag wouldn't you if you popped it in there and then the lovely batik batik fabrics are beautiful to work with so uh, again lovely lovely option with those as well so whichever you choose to go for you're going to obviously have your pattern so you can replicate that over and over again 14 pounds and 99 pence 629 if you want in those and incidentally if you've never gone for one of Sue's kits before why not to be honest because with these the patterns that she's actually bought to you she, she prides herself on those patterns and those instructions so treat yourself to one of the kits that we're sharing with you today and um, might be the next one which is your cushion because if you've got a sewing groom perhaps maybe you can treat yourself to your cushion cover because with this one you've got your cushion cover fabric front and back is included you've also got your applique fabric which you can see here and it's a good size piece in each one of these um, as you can see there so plenty in there for you to do your fabulous uh, kind of old style sewing machine there with the, the manual handle that it, uh, you kind of uh, crank and turn around isn't it and I love that I love the spool of thread sitting on the top there as well um, and then of course you've got your pattern you've got your applique pattern included with that one as well and of course if you're wanting to get hold of that you've got two options the blue that we're looking at there and then you've got your green which also features that lovely purple and the fabric has got that lovely kind of gold thread running through it's like a gold print on there as well and I love that kind of ribbon looker there and also the backing fabric it's not just a solid plane with this one you've got a lovely kind of a um, swirly pattern in there really pretty design and again good size pieces I mean the cushion the cushion fabric you've got loads in there even if you don't want to use it as a cushion this is a nice one to use as a blender fabric if you've got a project that you're wanting to work with as well it's actually called dragonfly dance dragonfly dance yeah well, I love that Oh, I'll have to look at Give it an then. exotic cool. name. It is. It's a fancy name. I like that. But again, it's Sue with that attention to detail to get the right fabrics for the project. So there you go. The details there for your love to sew cushion there. 913277. And we've got four options with the last item that I'm going to be sharing with you, which is your water um, bottle um, carrier. And you've got four options with these. Some lovely, fun, funky fabrics. You've got your mermaid with a beautiful kind of mermaid um, and sea-inspired lining with that one as well which is nice so that's your mermaid option then you've got your dinosaurs which comes with a, that kind of plain um, but it's still got a little bit of a, a mottled print in there as you can see with that one so that's a nice one um, that one is your dinosaurs the last one that you've got are your gorillas so this has got your darker print fabric with obviously your gorillas are all having a whale of a time there in the jungle and again you have got your lining fabric and of course your wadding that's going to work with that and your final option which I must admit I do love this one you've got your plain kind of plainness of this one with that 
that strong print of all your safari animals featuring on this one. Sue came up with a wonderful idea of getting your fabric paints out and your fabric pens and colouring in those before you sew it together. Um, but $9.99, what a fabulous price for any one of those four kits. Details are there on your screen. So 025612. Now we're going to go back over and see what Sue is up to. Sue, just to let you know, we've got about 15 minutes left and a little bird tells me that you can work on the water bottle yes. carrier. Yes, perfect. Yeah. It's another easy, simple project. So for the beginner in particular, you can make it quite easily. Lovely. So again, we do the same thing with the strap. Fold it in half and then fold the outer edges in. And we'll just go down the sides again. I find that if you do handles this way, it's much easier. Um, because otherwise, sometimes you're trying to turn a very narrow tube. Um, there, you can actually buy um, a tool, and it is actually for turning. Oh. Um, I've got a set of them. Uh, might, they're my bag of tricks somewhere oh, here. Oh, is this the one that's kind of got like a latch hook yeah. on the end of it? Um, yes. Where is it? it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. And what you do is, you probably can't see it on this one, but basically, if I was to turn that the other way round, to get it to turn, you sew the end, you put your fabric, if I get just an ordinary piece, like this, you get your fabric piece, just in case anybody's thinking of buying one of these, they really are very good. What you would do, you sew down each side and then you run it off down the other side. They're a great tool, they really are. I've, I've had mine some time and I tend to just leave it in this box because then I know if ever I need it, I know exactly where it is. Then, just on the one end, just do a stitch. Now, you're going to undo that one, so, you know, you want a larger stitch, really. Then what you would do to turn it, you put the larger tube... I mean, this is over-exaggerated. You put the larger tube in the middle. Okay, like that. yeah. You get the flat end... Oh, okay. I'm not so seeing you've got, one like this before. You've got this tube, then mm. you would have a long... I mean, obviously, if it's a long one, you'd put, just push it right up. So this you, could be like for a strap of a bag or something like that. A strap of a bag, yeah. And then you get the flat end, and you'll find the middle bit, and then literally you just push Ooh. it through. Oh, it's like magic. Oh, that's clever. And, you know, it is so, so easy because, I mean, we've all done it when it's that thin, you can't get your finger in or anything. This tool is absolutely brilliant. That, did I see prim on that? I it's, need to look out for um, that. I need one of those myself. I probably ripped the label off, actually. Yeah, it is. I it is found prim. The, the actual yeah. um, the tube that you got there. I thought yeah. I saw the, yeah. the prim logo. Prim. So, oh, um, I have to you get a set of those. three. Fabulous. Thank you, Sue. I'll keep you um, on yeah, those. But they are. Uh, I can't remember, they're, they're not expensive. But a useful tool to have. And they're just known as tur turning tools. Turning tools, okay. Turning tools. Lovely. Go onto um, a sewing website or just put a sewing turning tool. I'm sure you'll find it. And that's how easy it is. Clever. Um, but obviously, because this isn't... Um, if I'd have been doing this narrower, then I probably would have used the turning tool to do it. Um... But sometimes it's just nice to give somebody a hint or a tip. Um, yeah, I like that, though, because that's where many of us learn, isn't it? Because you, of course it you is. don't know uh, everything about um, no. any paper craft or whether it, it's, it's so nice anything. to be able to share ideas. Yes. So then what you do, let's move the strap out of the way, the wadding to the back, then the main fabric, and then at the top of the main fabric, Place your lining right sides together, and all we're going to do is just going to stitch along the top. 
I thought it'd be nice to have some nice, easy projects on this show. Oh. Um, I mean, it's like we've said before, with the handbag organiser, if you look at the previous show, you'll see it being made on the, I think, is it catch-up? That's right, yeah, those, those, isn't it? Real rewind. Um, rewind. You've got 60 days to go back and watch on yeah. there as well. So by the time your kit has arrived, you can actually stitch alongside Sue um, when you, you're making yours. So, so then, I like, it. I like a, a project like this, something that you can do nice and easy. It's a breakaway project as well. If you've got something yeah. that you're working on and you just want something quick and easy. Something simple. Yeah. yeah. So now all I'm going to do, fold that back, and I'm just going to do a row of top stitching on the inside. And this is clever. This, whenever we talk of top stitching, quite often we're talking about where you're folding it over and you're top stitching around the edge yeah. of something. But with this, it's clever because what you're doing is you're stitching it to the salvage edge. So it's it's kind of turning the lining in as you, as you you're doing it. That's right. And what you are doing is because when you're sewing and it's a narrow seam, you're actually sewing the fold. So that's been pressed up. So when I've top stitched, that is holding nice and, and it's firm. It's kind of reinforcing it reinforces as well, yeah. It. So then what you do, fold it in half, matching your seams, and then just make sure they're, they're all together. We'll sew right down the side. Uh, some people would use a walking foot for this, but I can't be bothered to change to a walking foot when I'm only giving a small piece. Um, Don't you hold back, Sue. You be honest with us, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you know. What's the point? It'd take me longer to change to the walking foot than it does to sew it. I love your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do like my walking foot, but... I know exactly what you mean. Only though, if yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot. I mean, if I'm doing a quilt... That's different, um, because we all know anyway that wadding walks. It does indeed, yeah. So, um, just sew up. But it is such a simple um, project to make. I mean, what you could do, actually, you could actually enlarge it, and, and you could use it for larger bottles. That's a good point, actually, um, yeah. You, if you had something... Uh, like Insu Bright, you could actually use that. Oh, is that the kind of the insulating? So you've that's got like a hot bottle or a cold bottle. So you've bottle, got your yeah. hot and cold. So then what you do? Oh, I know what I have done. I don't normally sew the bottom bit. Well, I'm not going to unpick it. I'm going to do it the. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Okay, look away for a moment. Yeah. We're not. We're not looking. I didn't look. I don't look at the pattern. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I would go straight down the side. Okay. Then fold it open. Just fold it open. Lovely. It's nice actually because it just proves to people that are watching that we're not all perfect. We don't know exactly. Oh my exactly. goodness, no. Uh, and I do like to just press that seam open. Even though Lovely. I do have to get used to the iron. <laughs> It is. I mean, it's a brilliant line. I must it's admit. I think we've got them on the website, but I mean, it does take a bit of getting used to. If you were doing a lot of quilting and you're putting all your squares and triangles together, this is super because you obviously don't iron. You just press. Exactly. This is the thing. that's chatting to Sue earlier on, on with it. The, um, obviously, the, um, the Liberty One Day special. She was saying exactly that. You don't want to move your fabric sometimes. I know that's go. really good, isn't it? <laughs> the minute you touch it, it goes okay. down. <laughs> so right we folded now I folded this so that that seam is in the center now what I need to do I'm just going to cut some corners off okay now ordinarily I'd measure it it's about two centimeters okay so just cut out obviously if you're doing it you would measure it and then just to make sure it, the other side's the same just fold that in half Bit of the edge. Oh, I see. So it's like that you're cutting the shoulder away yeah, yes, from it. Yes, that's yeah? right. So you. go across and again up to the point when I can see it. I mean, in the pattern, I tell you to measure it and mark it with a pen. Um, but because of time, 
I'm doing it the quick way. So now what I need to do, I just want to sew this bottom seam here. So, and the thing is, once you've done this bit, you've only got one seam, so you haven't got to match seams up. So we sew that. Now, what we then do, because this is going to be the bottom, the base of the carrier, open it up, okay. just rub each side, and then that little corner bit that you've cut off, mm -hmm. open it up, you match the edges, and you just stitch along the top. And that's nice and easy, because you can see exactly where you need to stitch. And that's it, yeah. yes, yes. Um, and I just reinforce the edge on those. It has got an automatic, but when I first learnt to sew, there wasn't automatic cutters, so it's habit. Over years and years of sewing, I still pick up the scissors. <laughs> so open it up and just match the top edges. Yeah, we were talking earlier. Um, it's like on the on the uh, cushion. I can actually remember sewing on a hand. Yes, yeah. You know, um, treadle. Then there was the hand, and then they actually had some that had got a power cable. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. It is, it's kind of the way that, I mean, ultimately, the, when you look at the design of a sewing machine, they've, they've not changed from the, the very early ones right the no. way through. More bells, more whistles, all these fancy things. But ultimately, it's the same mechanism. It's exactly like the you same say, principle. The, those old hand-turning yeah. ones that, uh, yeah. I wonder um, if they had muscles, bigger muscles on the right arm. <laughs> and what happened if you were left-handed as well? How could you do it if you were well, left-handed? You know, that's what I've wondered, because um, I've actually never seen a sewing machine for a left-handed person. Mm. I suppose perhaps they just got used to it yeah. and adapted, I don't know. Yeah. There go. Sorry, so, um, Rianne's telling me something. I'm not listening to her words. What did you say, my dear? The red and cream purse. This is something I've got to tell you, just to let you know the wallet. Remember the wallet that we were chatting about, the one that Sue's got over by her? Um, that one is now limited in stock as well. So uh, if you're wanting to go for the cream and the red, then uh, do check your basket out with that one. And then i better just level that off for the bit that I cut off before. I forgot I was working for a moment then, so I was just having a lovely time, having a yeah. chat, a bit of a sew. And then cut your corners out. That's the other thing that I, I live by, my scissor sharpener. That is superb. Um... Mind you, it doesn't just have my sewing scissors, it has all scissors going through it. <laughs> so you do exactly the same, but there again, I forgot to leave a seam open to turn. So I'll just unpick that bit. When you're using a cutter like this, do not do it as I've done it. T just get the hole and then turn it the other way round. So this is something that took me years to realise that there's, well, and it was actually yeah. another, a fellow sewer that taught me how because to use these. Because this bobble on the bottom, this tiny little ball. It's like a little bead on there. Runs through so it won't catch the fabric underneath. I love it. And it's nice and easy. Um, so we'll do the bottom the same. My Kim, our producer, she's got her eyes on this. You're going to have to make a run for it when you actually leave the studio later on. Because <laughs> Kim, um, she's, I know for a fact she's recently invested in a sewing machine, so she's looking at lots of different projects. And she's got a, a little lad, Abel, is absolutely dinosaur mad. So she's uh, got her eyes on this one. So I hope you can run fast when you get in that side of the studio, because well. she may rugby tackle you to the floor. Uh, I'll leave it for her. I'll leave oh, this one for there you her. Go. Well, oh, little label is going to be somebody a happy else, little chappy. Somebody else had the bag I made earlier. Oh, did See, this is you make them too nice. You see, you know, so. she, she said that she, you know, she kept thinking, oh, I know what I could use that. I could use that for. So, <laughs> um, 
and, and you know, it's nice to be able to give something to someone that's going to use it. Well, this is it, and I know Abel will absolutely adore you know, this one. Um, and we'll make sure that he makes you a little thank you note because I know he likes getting creative oh, bless as well. Him. So, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, we'll get some, uh, uh, that to Kim. Um, I have to say, so I didn't even realise the time is upon us as well, so we are rapidly coming oh, to the end right. of the hour. Hopefully so. I'll get, I'll just get this finished in time. Wonderful. There you go. Now don't forget, when you get your kit home, you've got full instructions in there, so you don't have to worry. You will be able to know step by step. You won't make course, the mistakes that I've just made. Not at all. <laughs> we all make mistakes with those. But what you will have is the confidence that if you do need to, you'll get in touch with Sue well, and she'll be able to help my you. My phone number and my email address is on every pattern. Perfect. There every you go. single pattern. So you can keep in touch that yeah, way as well. You know. Stay tuned. We've got lots more coming up and we'll see Sue again very soon, I'm sure. eight o'clock so it's another opportunity for us to have a look at our fabulous one day special it's a cleaner palmer one make sure you stay tuned and then yanis will be welcoming in the weekend giving you lots of little sneaky peeks of what we've got coming up hi i'm pat and mark from totally patched we're a family-based business here in shropshire we've been established for about 20 years the, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hutanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho-Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho-Chanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam, and we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt Unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. So we've got the second look at our fabulous one day special brought to you uh, by Kalena. It's so nice because I was chatting to Kalena and she really is exceptionally inventive in what she brings you. So here is a lovely Kalena, hello. Hello. I always enjoy working with you. You always bring something different. Now this is an evolution on a system that you have brought before and this is kind of like an expansion. And the key is the ease of use because you, what you're doing with the dye, and you've got that little eyelet, you use your brads, and this is the kind of thing that you can create. Yeah, what, what it allows you to do, particularly with this, with this set being the Christmas release, mm -hmm. is it allows you to produce reeds, whole, yeah. whole reeds, with many, many elements in them, where literally what? that is all held together, that one you're looking at there, yeah. is all held together with 10 brads. There's no, there's no glue. There are some glue dots that I, I do mm -hmm. mount it onto a ring at the back. Okay. And that's just literally held on on those brad points just with glue dots. Kleiner, these wreaths are incredible. I've got four words for you. What's that? Get in my basket. Because you <laughs> see these, and I'm not. <laughs> when I look at these, this is a straight in my basket. You know, you see something, you're like, yeah, I need these. If you think about the amount of times, especially at Christmas, how you can achieve so many different looks. So genuinely, and I kind of approach shows as a presenter like I am a, uh, a viewer or uh, just watching at home. Because I kind of think, if I saw this at home, being able to create these beautiful wreaths with ease, and that is a key, changing the colour tones, uh, you've already got me. You're saving £10, 49.97, two flexi payments. Now bear with, because we are going to show a, uh, a larger bundle, so you might want to pop that in. But look, at the moment, that's your one day special. A third of the stock's gone, but here's the thing. Yes, they make the most beautiful wreaths. You can also make, look at this. Are you kidding, with your mistletoe? Look at that. Cleaner. Now, how hard is that to make? Because that, to me, looks like you spent hours and hours doing it. Oh, that was one of the quick makes in the last hour. So if no anyone wants way. to see that, they can... They you can, did the mistletoe um, in the last hour? I did that one in the last hour, yes. So if anyone wants to look at that. It, it, I love the mistletoe, seeing that here. Do you know, it's funny because Molly, our director, last year, she went around Hochanda and she was popping mistletoe everywhere. <laughs> well, that's why I saw every time I walked around the corner, she was there I think traditionally, there, some don't mistletoe. they hang them in doorways? She, well, you should do. Yeah. Anywhere I seem to walk, there she was with some mistletoe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, you could... Oh, by the way, what about this? Look at the beautiful candelabra and how you can upgrade. Now that's lovely, because you can imagine now decorating, think what you've got in your room, just adding that beautiful wreath. It's like a deconstructed wreath. Well, the thing is, if you can do wreaths with them, then if you open, if you just don't join up that wreath, you've then got a garland. So then anything you want to attach a garland to, um, photo frames around your yeah. home, mantelpiece, oh, obviously don't go near any flames yeah, cool. um, all well, the candles so here today are LED ones um, plain I yeah. hand on heart I mean I think these are brilliant I really mean that um, I was looking forward to doing the show with you thank you, you are very good uh, look I'm just going to show you the back of the packaging because this is what you are getting and it's worth so I mean you're getting a lot of dyes but it's that innovation of just being able to connect everything up with the brads a few brads and suddenly You've got something like that. Look at that. I mean, are you kidding? 
So beautiful liseries, but as we showed, you can do so much more. You can make cards, you can do home decor, you can make wreaths. Now, we have got a larger bundle, and I was just alluding to that larger bundle. So this is the one-day special. You're getting all three die sets, 41 dies in total. We've got the holly, you've got the bow uh, in there as well. You've got the mistletoe, I mean, all your iconic uh, sort of Christmas flowers in the mix. But then... Now, with the circles, I would imagine this would lend itself, obviously, to creating the wreaths, Plana. Yes. Yeah, so we've got the ring that we can build off, and we can go with that nesting. Sorry, I just forced my hand in there. Um, but look, with the nesting, we can go as large or as small as the die affords. Well, depending on how many, I, I call them bunches, but depending on how many little bunches you make to create your wreath, yeah. depends on the size that will turn out. Okay. So, um, obviously... You know, die cutting machines will only go up to eight inches, so you've got um, eight in up to eight inches there. That's um, I mean, that's a good size for a wreath. Yeah, for these wreaths I've made here today, and they're quite sizable. I think the mm. largest one I put in was probably about six and a half mm -hmm. inches. Yeah, well. Wow. Um, so there's still okay. room to go yet with, wow. with that circle set. You're saying, uh, just before we move on, can you tell me a little bit about this? That's one of my nice. inspiration team actually made that, and oh. I... Um, the Christmas roses at the bottom. Yeah. Um, oh, I Christmas believe she's roses. made it all with the leaves from the amaryllis. Oh. So how many times you put that through the die cutting machine? I really don't know. But that was Claire. Well, it's it's just, amazing, isn't it? Your design team are awesome. Oh, they're brilliant. You're awesome, and I love this one day special. Look, two things I want to uh, draw your attention to with the complete, because personally, and this is just me. I'd want, if you don't have the nested circles like this, it's designed to go with your one day special. You need it to build up your wreaths. Now, two things to point out. You've got the five pound saving with the complete. Uh, you've also got access to flexi payments, which we're gonna show, and there's a freedom price. So that flexi payment, 39.98, that's pretty cool. That's a good price today for everything. But look what happens if you're a freedom member. 1796, a £13 pound saving. Wait for it. Uh, this is your first. Now, come on. 35.98 today. You get everything. You're getting the one day special. You're getting your nested dies. And you can see the size of those nested dies that you're getting there. All of that, the complete one day special. This is the kind of thing that you're going to be making and so much more. It's only the tip of the iceberg. Thirty-five pounds and ninety-eight pence. The amount of—I mean, that is an absolute showstopper of a wreath. So yeah. think about presents. Think about oh, actually, I was going to say, if we wanted to make to sell, we're able to do that. Absolutely. So I mean, you—if you, I know, and I'm really conscious every time I say make to sell, I realise that not everyone is going to be making to sell. But if you were, and this was your stand. So you had all these beautiful wreaths laid up. But they I heard they're going to have Christmas again next year, so once you've got the dyes... You've heard the rumours. <laughs> <laughs> once you've got oh, the dyes, I mean, yeah, year in, year out, yeah. they'll, be, they'll be useful. You really would. So just for the ornaments, so this could be hanging from the tree, you've got the mistletoe in there as well. We can make cards, we can do mixed media projects. The mistletoe, I think, is an absolute revelation. I love that. Then you've got the holly in there as well. Very easy to do. Or... What about something like this? Look, so think about getting the most out of your sets. So this is your mixed media. We've got cards as well. It is just such a great, it really is a good one day special. And you know, if you're a regular viewer to Hochanda, when I endorse something, I do it with purpose. So I won't just stand here. If I'm really passionate about something, you know it's good. I wouldn't mislead you. This is a very good one day special. You have my word on that. Great prices, so uh, whether you want to go for the one-day special or the complete, once you see it in action, and I've been fortunate enough, I've done a, a lot of shows with Kleiner. We've seen the concept. I've, I've worked with Kleiner before, and she's shown the concept and how easy it is to achieve such stunning results. This is a good one. Right, now we're going to move on. We have got uh, some stamps and dies, another new today as well. Uh, concept here is we're going to be mixing these up, right? Yeah, actually, the... the um you kind of need the dies with this set to complete the stamps. Okay. Because they're partial sentiments, so yeah. um, the die uh, would either go at the beginning, end, or sometimes in the middle okay. of, the, of the sentiment. But there's a PDF that um, will be going up on my group um, on Sunday. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, that shows you all of the all, all the variants that you can make with the stamps and the dies together. I mean, there is a, and that is the joy of this one is being able to really play around and create those different variants. So you've got a huge amount of variety to uh, really, I think, inject something fresh into all your makes. So you've got large dramatic dies, and then you've got I like the sense of scale as well. So you've yeah. got that impact die, and then, for instance, here, this is a good example. So, merry, eat, drink, and be. Something, or eat, drink, and be merry. But I, <laughs> I just, because I went straight to that one. But, um, it's like, like, it's, that's um, Glina, she's actually from Poland, so that might be something to do with why it's that way around. Maybe, but <laughs> do you know what? I like this way around, because you're showing something a bit different, modern, contemporary, <laughs> or I just read it the wrong way. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Molly, our director, loves it when I make a mistake. It's one of her greatest joys in life. Let's have a look here. This one, winter. Believe in the magic of winter. Isn't that nice? Okay, so there we go. That's your stamps and your dies. Details on your screen, 555-765, your item number. We are going to have a look, because we've got one more thing to show you before you go to uh, see Kalena. Now, take a look at this. This is your Take a Stand. Always busy. Now, am I right in saying last time we featured this planer, it sold out the Take a Stand? Yes, it did, yeah. yeah. So, um, really is quick. The, is this the first time we've brought it back since it sold out? Um, I think this is the second time I've brought it back. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so you have got the Take a Stand, five dies. Brilliant to uh, obviously create that stand for your work. 168851, your item number. Then we've also got the first blooming awesome die. Blue Can you tell me a little bit about this one, Kleiner? Just coming up on your screen. So this is the same concept as what we're uh, showing you. This yeah, is that the was the first release. Show, yeah. um, they actually sold out as well when I brought them before. So um, I've actually, this is a, a new order. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is um, what I was using last time when we were working together. And um, yeah. I was making the reads and, and it was like, you know. Well, it just clicked. People at home, when so it just safe, had to be yeah. a Christmas reset. Yeah. It really did. And when you see it in action, so I'm going to hand over to Kleiner now and she's going to show you just how easy the concept is. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken some elements from the three different packs and done um, like a mix and match. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my little bunches, put them together um, individually, and then they all come together. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so I am going to be using my amaryllis, mm. and I'm just going to um, show you how I get the, the two colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my flowers away from my stem. So I've cut, I've cut it once in green, right? And, and then I just um, uh, laid strips of cardstock and just cut that section. Yeah. So there's no need to cut the whole thing. You just need the heads. And then I'm just going to cut the flowers away. But there's little cut marks, so they cut away ever so easy. Oh, OK. Oh, you thought of everything. It's just tiny little pips. Yeah. So you can cut, you know, use them in their entirety if you want. You haven't got to do this, uh -huh. but it's an option for okay. you. Nice. Layering up. I'll pop some glue on. Yeah, and I'm just going to pop them on. Mm -hmm. When did you first come up with this concept? Did you kind of, as a crafter, think like there surely there's an easier way to start building up these sort of statement makes? To be honest, this is something that I did uh, a long time ago when I used to design um, SVGs. Okay. So it's something that I kind of uh, went back to uh, when I was producing dyes because right. um, it's just so easy to to create elements. Like um, I used to look at. Um, people that used to create uh, lavish floral arrangements on, on their projects. And mm. I used to think, how do they do that? How do they arrange them? Um, but when you do them like this, if you don't like what you've done, you loosen the brad and then just take kind of mix it up. Just rotate them around the brad yeah. and then tighten it up again. So you can't really go wrong. Mm. So hopefully okay. I've, um, well, it's something that I found, you know, a yeah. bit. Did you enjoy making the wreaths? The wreaths? Yeah. Yeah, you get a real sense of satisfaction with them because um, it's a bit of a release, a, a reveal at the end when you when you flip them over. But it, once you cut all your pieces out, the actual assembly is a matter of moments. 
Oh, that's okay, nice. so when you're putting your um, bunches together, mm -hmm. you want to start with your small element first. So I'm starting with my orange uh, piece. And what I've done on this, you, you cut the two elements and stick them together, and then I've just put some um, glaze over the top and let them dry so okay. it looks like a dried piece of orange. And then I've got um, my amaryllis leaves, so I'm putting them next. And then I've got some of the pine cones. And all I did was I got a... Um, it was almost like a craft colour, and then I just swept a, 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 an ink pad over it. Okay. If you can uh, just offer that, just to, we're on the overhead at the moment, just so we can get a good look at it. There, that's perfect. Yeah, I'll try and put them on like that. Yeah. And then I'll go for my amaryllis next. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that I pop them onto my brad kind of in a smallest to largest so every you can kind of see a range of everything now I'm going a bit colorful with this one so I've got some nice bright green mistletoe mm -hmm. and I'm just going to load three of those on because that's my main foliage in this one okay in the other ones we mixed a couple of different foliage together but we're just doing the mistletoe in this one I'm going to just splay them out a little bit and then my last piece is going to be my connector. Nice. Now this is your piece with the double-ended um, eyelet. Uh -huh. And this is where you start like using everything. You've got that double-ended eyelet, so you're starting to build up. Okay. Ooh. So we'll do Hi that now. again. Can I just let everyone know, as we're doing this, 40% of the stock for the one-day special is gone, and we're busy for our one-day special. Details are on your screen. If you do want to go for the one-day special, you're getting all three sets. Just to remind you, if you haven't got a nested set of circles, we've got a larger bundle. Uh, with the larger bundle, there is a freedom price. I'm just going to flash that price on the screen there. So, uh, £5 saving. But if you're a freedom member, that £5 jumps to £13. And you're also getting access to flexi payments as well. So you've got this no larger nesting, and then you've got all three sets of dies in the mix. Thirty-five ninety-eight. Your first flexi payment today, and this is an example of what you could be making. They are stunning. So, Claire, back with you now. Okay, Doug. So I'm just putting my second one together there. Popping my connector on the back. Okay. I get, watching you work, I get a sense of the satisfaction in building all the elements together. Yeah, it's um, it just works. Yeah. You know, and I, it's um, yeah. There's no, there's no glue. There's no mess. Uh, you well, that's know, um, a big one, Glenn, you, Glenn, being able to do that. You know when um. I've done I've done um, flower arrangements before where you put a dollop of glue down and then you poke all the bits in from the sides mm -hmm. and then you push one in and it pushes the other bits yeah, out. And we've all been there. So oh, there's, no, there's none of that here. Okay, mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is we turn them over one by one uh -huh. and then we open up the brad. Okay. And then we pop it underneath the connector of the previous one. This is And where then tighten it, it up again. Fun. It's that simple. And then we get our next one. Kleina, this is awesome. Open up the brad. Uh -huh. Oops, I slipped off. And then pop it underneath the loop of the previous one. And the beauty is you can deconstruct. If you want to change around, you, like you were saying earlier on, you just loosen that brad and then you've got the ability to reconstruct, alter. Yeah, I made one uh, a few days ago uh -huh. and then I decided it was looking a bit sparse I wanted to add some more foliage yeah. so I just went round, opened up the brads put an extra one in each bunch closed them up again it's right. it as simple as that it's that simple <laughs> so this is the bit I like when it just comes together I mean it's uh -huh. no time at all and if you do have trouble getting brads because brads are a little bit old-fashioned I dare say but yeah. um, you can just use split pins in each yeah. pack there's some um, some little circles that are like brad covers yeah, yeah. so if you haven't got the right color of brads use all the old ones that you've got in your stash oh. and then cut the little circles and just cover them over no one will see them you've really thought of everything with this well I like to use every inch of the metal when yeah. I'm um, getting it manufactured so yeah. I pop a few extra of those in because they're only tiny little uh -huh. um, you know, brad covers, so. That is looking like a very handsome wreath. I'm loving it, very full. The cool thing is we don't know what it's gonna look like until we turn, turn it, over. it over. 
you put these up, and this is the kind of thing where I could totally imagine uh, once you get it home, you're going to be making these for friends and family. Have it on your door, have it in the room. You decorate your whole, your whole house, you're going to effectively decorate using just the one day special. But that's the thing, you know, um, you know like when you have a wreath on, the, on your front door? Yeah. Now you don't need to do that because you can have one on every door inside. Oh. Why not? Why not? And then you can deconstruct that wreath and you can use it with kind of like a wreath bunting around the uh, candlestick holder. Right, so this is what you were talking about earlier mm -hmm. on with the, um, with the circle yes. backer that I made. So all you want to do is you want to pick um, one of the dies that just sits inside your brads yeah. so it covers over and then a couple of, you know, yeah. a couple of rings out. And then add your tag creator in, which is your small holes that come in that set. Because okay. it's got the stitch detail around it so it all matches. Right. So it all looks perfectly finished. Um, and then... Or th the other thing you can do is add the wall hanger in that comes in the take a stand set. Uh -huh. So that's an option as well. I think Claire popped yeah. one of those on the back of her wreath there. The middle one. Oh yes. This one, this one here? Yeah. So how is that achieved? That's in the take a stand set. Oh, of course it is. So you're seeing here that take a stand set which we've got back in stock, it enables you to put that little latch that you can just hook onto there. I've actually got the take a stand set. If I pop this down, I'll show you. I've got it here. Uh, so this is your take a stand set. And that was the die that we were just uh, alluding to. Oh, let me show you. So that was the die that we were just alluding to. So there's two stands and a wall hanger. Yeah. So there we go. Nice. Okay. Great. Okay, so all yeah. I've been doing is pop in a glue dot on the back of each brad and that's what we're going to put our hanger on with it, it's nice because it gives you somewhere to hang it up and it gives it a bit of rigidity as well a bit of strength so oh and by the way i cut yeah. those circles three times and glued them together so it's right. you know kind of like chipboard not, or whatever. Yeah. it's rigid yeah okay mm -hmm. so that's it so i'm just going to try and make that as circular as I can, even though it's, I don't know. It's what got a lovely organic feel to it. It doesn't need to be. I don't know what that. you call a ten-pointed thingy. <laughs> I don't know. An octagon is eight, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> okay, Decadent. so. Um, no. I just want to make sure that I've, I just don't want any of the work. I don't mm -hmm. like any of the workings being seen. Yeah. And I like things to look just as neat on the back as they are on the front. So it just hides our gubbings. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we've made. Oh, look. So this that. is quite different to the, to the other ones that we made because with the other ones, the brad went through the, the um, eye of the mm -hmm. flower, but these, this particular one is on a, is on a stem, so it's a little bit different. Hey, that looks beautiful. And the you oranges put that are just box. peeking out there. A gift bag. These would be great on gift bags. And then I've got a little bow here. Yeah. So what about, Kleiner, if we did put this on a gift bag, but you didn't attach it, and then who are you giving the gift bag to? They could take the wreath off, whatever's inside is a little present, and then they've got the wreath as well. That's a good idea. Right, so just opposite my hanger, I just want to pop my bow on. So I'll pop that on about there. And there we are. Oh, cleaner. That is stunning. So and that's completely just... different to the silver one I made in the last hour. Well, okay, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's the variety from the one day special. I'm going to show you all three of these and I'm actually going to pick them up. So actually I'm not I'm going to do it like this. But look, you can see that's the silver and white, so beautiful sort of magical feel there. But then if I pick this up, we've gone for very traditional Christmas colours coming through. But you have got such a wealth of elements from the one day special that you're able to introduce. I love the fern textures, the flowers changing around the colours. So that's another look. And then we can go from very traditional to, well, it's another traditional one, but I love making the flowers a bit more of uh, the focal point in there. You are going to discover 
so many ways to play with your one day special. Those are the wreaths, but this is the tip of the iceberg because then we can go and make something like this, your own mistletoe. I mean, are you kidding me? That is incredible. So easy to make though, and that is really the key to this one day special. It's the ease of use. We've got another demonstration of how we can use our one day special differently. And also, think about trellising. So deconstructing the wreath and trellising around the mantelpiece or having a look here. We've just got uh, a beautiful candlestick holder. Clayney said, uh, as Clayney said, these are um, LEDs. But look, so just trellising around, you've got full, it's a modular system in the sense that you can articulate in any way you like. You can create your wreaths. You can create your uh, sort of bunting, to, for lack of a better word, uh, to, to embellish around a mantelpiece, around your pictures in there. This is your Christmas in one bundle, but not just this Christmas. Because, so Kim, our, our producer, what she likes to do is she'll change her Christmas theme each year, so colorways. So one Christmas, we can go silvers and whites. Next Christmas, very traditional. We can change again. You've got that choice. Apparently, uh, this Christmas, Kleiner, I've heard pink and turquoise is apparently going to be the Yes, I've heard that. Mm. Yeah. That's what people are saying. But wait, I'm going to sh show you, because we, we've talked about it here. But what about this for mixed media? Still using the one day elements from the one day special. Christmas journals, Christmas cards. This is such a versatile set. And we've got to give another mention to the design team. So here now, just taking the one day special and creating the most beautiful Christmas cards. Oh, come on, look at that. Or oh, we did talk about Christmas bags. Let me just show you this. I really am a big, big, big fan of yours, Kleiner. I hope you realise that. I'm not just saying Sorry? that wouldn't work. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, thank you. I am, genuinely. Because I know, like, standing here in the presenters, you expect us to obviously be enthusiastic. <laughs> but um, it, it's genuine. I really am a big oh, fan. Oh, that's really nice to say. Thank uh, you. Right, now, I'm just going to tell you, with, and I just want to get clarification on this because I don't want to mislead you. We've got a £5 saving, and that £5 saving, Kim, that's on top of the £10 we would have had with the one-day special, yeah. it's not? It is. Mm. Great, okay. So, look, complete collection. With the one-day special, you've got a £10 saving, right? Which we'll just show you. We'll break this down. So, one-day special, you have a uh, £10 saving, which we're showing you. You've still got access to flexi payments, and then you can see all three sets there. But here's the thing. If you go for the complete, that £10 saving, which you're getting here, is already factored into the price on the complete collection. And then you're going to save a further £5. And if you're a Freedom member, a further £13. So uh, with the Freedom membership, and we'll just flash that. So in fact, Freedom members are saving £23 by getting hold of the complete collection. If you haven't got nested dies, you really do need these nested dies because what they allow you uh, to do is obviously build and construct the body of your wreaths. So you do need those with it. And that's why I think the uh, complete collection is very appealing if you don't have anything like that in your stash. So there we go. That is the uh, complete collection. I've got to tell you, with regard to the complete collection, Half the stock's gone. A lot of you have been going for that complete collection, and I absolutely do not blame you because just for the leaves, uh, the wreaths alone, I, I genuinely I was sold when I walked into the studio and saw this because I can imagine this on a mantelpiece, on the doors, on the front door, making these for friends and family, absolutely all day long. And remember, you're not using glues; you're using it's just the brads uh, being able to construct, and that's when it jumps to uh, the fun bit. Okay, we're going to get back to Kleiner. What are we going to do next, Kleiner? Right, we're going to make, do something really quick and okay. easy, but I think effective. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to pop a little um, embellishment together, floral embellishment. Um, uh, so mm -hmm. what I'm doing is I've picked out some... Um, I've cut my poinsettia in white, nice. and then I've picked out some different silver... Uh, kind of uh -huh. um, finishes. I like how you're alternating. Just uh, explain that. So with the, the with the petals, because traditionally with the petals, we oh. kind of um, we'd mold them and sculpt them one way. Oh, yeah. I think well, I I just 
Uh, yeah, alternate one up, one down. Okay. Um, and I think good. it adds a bit of, um, yeah, adds a bit of shape, doesn't it? Something now, with my pine cones, I kind of bend the tips over my fingers oh, okay. a bit. And then with the nail, my nail, I pop the first few um, up. But there is actually another way to do it. If you've got a small ball tool and you've got one of those embossing mats yeah. or even a mouse mat, you can lie it on and then just press over each of them oh, right. into the foam. And that's another way to do it. And you can do nice. them all that way. Okay. Uh, but for speed, I just lift the top few up yeah. okay. with my nail. Right. Add a bit of dimension that way. Yeah. You like those. Okay. So that's all I need to right. do there. And then I've popped some flat back pearls onto my mistletoe. Yeah. Okay. So again, we're start smallest to biggest right okay so mm. oh, see when it starts coming together and the thing is if you you know because like you say I've gone kind of up and down it doesn't really matter what goes where because it kind of looks more natural yeah because that's how nature is it's a bit random isn't it and then being on the bread we can twist we can move so you yeah you've got a bit of wiggle room um, so I'll go mistletoe next because it's quite airy. Nice. And then I'll put my, oh, actually I wanted to add some shape to my holly. But it's no problem because we just close our brad up yep. and it holds itself. Perfect. It's like having a third hand. That's a nice way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, nothing's coming apart. Perfect. Yeah. Bit of holly in there as well. Are you a Christmassy person, Raina? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, um, it's just a great time of year you know, for families and people to just take a break. Nice. Um, yeah, I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. It gives an opportunity, it's a good opportunity to spend time with friends, loved ones, family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now before I pop that on, what I want to show you is this. Yeah. Now, what I did was I took one of the smaller dies from my DL nested dies. Yeah. And then I took the um, the tag creators from the circle set in, in on today's show. Yeah. And I popped one on each end. Now each of those tag creators are actually slightly different sizes, but it doesn't matter here. Okay. So I just picked two and I put them at each end and just ran it through my die cutting machine. Right. Okay. So we've just got a strip with um, with hole on each end. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run over the edge of the table. Mm -hmm. Just to add, add a curve. It's just the easiest way to do it. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open my brad back up. Everything's held into place. I'll add my holly. Okay, and then go into one hole, doesn't matter which. Nice. Into the other one. And close it up on the back. Oh, that's lovely. And there we are, and then in a drawer, I have a napkin. Uh huh. And there you are. See, Kimball producer is saying exactly what I'm thinking in my ear. It looks special. It really does. I've just got another one that you've made. Yeah, that's that. why I thought I'd do one in the contemporary kind it's of, nice. you know, effect. But, but yeah, that's the traditional one. Look at this. And the Christmas time, it is a season where you do want to make your place or your table settings look a little bit more special. I mean, imagine that. And as you said, Kleina, Christmas. And they're really quick makes as well. Oh, so quick. But every year you're going to be using these. This is a set. I think this is going to be your go-to set because... Yes, we can make cards from this, but home decor, you're always going to want to decorate your home. Mm. But you can do it. It's, you've got such versatility, so you can achieve different looks each season. You can decorate your table. You can use the wreaths to decorate the doors. Then we can go on the mantelpiece. We can uh, create our own mistletoe. You can even hang these in your tree as well. So the amount of scope you could do with one release, and it's the, the golden rule. We all present here at Hochandu, you would have heard us say, if you're going to invest in something, invest in uh, a product that is versatile, that you're going to get multiple uses from. I could not think of a better illustration of that point than the one-day special. Just going to turn around and show you the, uh, the inspirations. because So we've got the packaging here with the one-day special. And then if I turn that around, you get to see, and, yeah, and this is the tip of the iceberg of what you can achieve. But the different wreaths and looks, wreaths and looks that you can uh, make. 
Look at that. And you decide colors, so whether we're gonna go glitter, festive colors, traditional reds, greens, modern, contemporary. That is a starting point. You will discover more ways to do it. I've gotta tell you, one day special, busy, half the stock's gone there. Busy for the complete collection as well. Either way, you are absolutely winning because you are gonna be creating something that is gonna be a talking point. I absolutely guarantee it. I mean, I challenge you, you, so many of you have gone for the complete collection of the one day special. This Christmas, please uh, remember what I'm saying, remember this thought, because you're gonna have one of these wreaths or a lot of these wreaths uh, and uh, beautiful decorations around your home. Guarantee people are gonna say, where did you get those from? And you say, I made them. And then they're gonna probably ask you to make them. Okay, so that's uh, one collection for you. Now, we have got another release and it's building off of, this is where it started. This is the blooming um, Anthem. So again, Kleiner, tell us where, where did the Anthem come from? Oh, that's just because the way we talk in Cornwall. That's it, I, was just, I remember you telling me last time. <laughs> So having a look here, it's exactly the same principle. Now this gives you an idea of what you can make. So obviously taking you through the seasons. Yeah, this is nice. It was very, very popular the last time Kleiner was here and brought it to us. It actually sold out. This is the first time we've been able to bring it back to you. Uh, and it's already another uh, very popular option on the show. So if you want to get hold of that, forty-two ninety-seven is your price. Two flexi payments of twenty-one forty-nine. Uh, another one that is, uh, I think this one is an essential really. This is your take a stand five metal dies, and what it allows you to do. So this die, for instance, having a look, that creates on the wreaths or any project. It could be on a card. Do you know like when you hang picture frames up and it, it kind of slots down onto uh, the nail? It creates that effect there. But then you've also got the stands to uh, stand up your work. And I'll just pick this up here. So there's a mixed media piece. But that's how you're standing it up because you've got the taker stand. Uh, half the stock has gone here. I'm sensing a symmetry um, with the show today. Everything seems to be half the stock gone. And this is only your second live hour cleaner. <laughs> Busy. Well, I'm, I'm glad everyone likes it. Good. It's great. Well, I should too. Right, uh, we have got something else to share. So this is a die and stamp combo. Uh, with a die and stamp combo, you can see that you are getting uh, both the dies and stamps. Now, the way they work, the, the stamps finish off the dies. So you're going to find different ways to play around with these. And I kind of get the sense that the design team have had a lot of fun with them, Kleiner. Yeah, they've made some absolutely amazing samples. Yeah, just going to show you here. What about this? All I want for Christmas is you. Ah, see, using the stamps and then you've got the die. Or what about this? Winter warm. Oh, is it warm winter? Sorry, warm winter wishes. There we go. Warm winter wishes. Let me pop that down. So I love this set, and it's just another way to get the most out of uh, all your Christmas makes. Twenty nine ninety eight is your price. Saving five pounds. Five 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 seven six five. Your item number. Uh, as we head back to demonstration, we have got our seven day savers now. Only a few more days left on these. We have a Christmas card collection. Great to get the most out of uh, the one day special and also the uh, stamps and dice. So here, jelly bean nine ninety nine your price. Say, uh, well, look at what you would be paying, £30.99. So uh, £20 saving on that one. If you want to pop it into your basket, ooh. I'll tell you what, that, if you're looking for cardstock to start building up your wreaths and your Christmas makes, that is a great way to go. For £9.99, you cannot go wrong. So that's just one of our seven day savers. We can add that to the basket. Uh, there are so many more. So do go onto our website and discover. We're gonna be launching our brand new seven day savers at 8 a.m. on Sunday. So only a couple more days left there. Can I just take this opportunity to say welcome to anyone who's watching? So I know we've got viewers uh, across the world in the UK, Europe and America. So wherever you're watching, you're part of the Hochanda family. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right, Clayton, what are we gonna do next? Okay, what I thought I'd do is make a little co gift card holder. Um, so I got my gift card so and worked out what I did actually mm -hmm. was I cut this piece using the largest die in my um, A6 okay. nesting dies yeah and then I'm going to score it this is um, 
just a store card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to score it at two. I think this is right. Mm -hmm. Two and four and a quarter. Okay. That's what I need to do. Is that one of uh, the Cool Cats um, tools you're using? No. P possibly. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, so I want it to slip in like that because I, I don't want it to be completely covered. I want them to see when yeah. it opens and what's in there. Okay, okay, now, what I did then was I, I cut some pattern cardstock, uh, pattern paper with the next size down, and I thought, oh, how am I going to work this out? Yeah. But what I thought I'd do is do it while I was. Um, actually creating it so I've got my border kind of even all the way around right. so I'm just gonna do it the easy way I'm gonna put a pen mark there if my pen wants to work and look, the thing is at Christmas we give away so many um, gift cards so I, I think they're gaining in popularity aren't they yeah and then for the top edge I'll do the same and I just thought this would be a really easy way to hmm figure out what size I want. Put a little mark there. And because I'm cutting it in from each edge, I still get that um, that stitch detail that matches mm -hmm. the rest of it. Okay. Okay. Lovely. And so we're building this up. I'm just going to give you a reminder of the one-day special. And we really are having a busy show, considering it is, in the UK anyway, it's 8.40. So I do appreciate you could be doing or watching anything right now. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if we just go back to, there are so many different things that you can make with your one-day special. Have a look at this candelabra. You can just see there how beautiful that is so it is and it's just using those connections there you can just see the little connectors in the mix if I just turn that back actually can you see that there we go so that's one way we can use the one day special we can go on from decorating mantel pieces uh, uh, mantel pieces or round pictures to hanging some mistletoe. I just think this is brilliant. I know I keep showing it and the team are making fun, but imagine that hanging in your home and it looks beautiful. But then if I pop that down, we can decorate presents. So just having that wonderful winter rose on your presents, beautiful. And I love uh, the little fern. And what uh, Klein has done is given you so much detail in there. Uh, and apparently we did that in the last hour, so if you want to see it at 6 o'clock today, watch on Rewind. But then you go to your real showstoppers, and these are the wreaths. This is where it began. Obviously, you can expand and do so much more. But the different looks you are able to achieve from this one-day special is phenomenal. You can see playing around with colors, the textures, no glue. When it comes to actually constructing the wreaths, you're, all you're using is brads. A uh, bit of matte and layering, you might use the wreaths, but... You can just see that there. Love the change of the color tones too. Magical feel. You've got that scope. So glitters. If you've got any per, uh, pearlescent card, your glitter cards, mirror cards in there, it just shows what you can achieve. But then we can go from that to something like this for your card making too. So you really get a sense. When I say versatility, how amazing is this? Beautiful. All right, I'm going to pop those down. Kleiner, can we just give another uh, shout out to your design team because they're awesome. They are brilliant. Yeah, can you remind me of the names? Well, the ones that sent samples in today. Yeah. We've got Hannah, who mm. um, on social media you can find her under the Miss Haven. Okay. And we've got Claire. Yeah. And Galena. Uh huh. Um, I didn't want to put you on the spot. Sorry. And Ali. Okay. Brilliant. I was just thinking how sure was another one. Yeah. Okay. Ali's quite new, but brilliant. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Brilliant. Okay, okay. so. Um, I've got my pieces, my little um, gift card holder yeah. made. Um, so it's really dinky, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I just want to, this time I'm using the Christmas rose, mm -hmm. which is actually a hellebore. 
right. Did you know that? I didn't know I that. didn't either until I went to design it. And then right. I found out Christmas rose isn't a rose at all. It's a Hannibal. You like because I was watching. So I didn't know. That. I, I really didn't know that. Because it didn't look that. much like a rose. That's yeah. what you're thinking. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> That's but then... why it's not. Okay. <laughs> 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 It is. I knew it as a Christmas <laughs> rose, but I say it doesn't look like a, a traditional rose. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh -huh. So what I'm doing now is I'm using those little berry branches. Yeah. Now these little berry branches and the orange slice actually were just extras put in because I had some spare metal, and <laughs> those orange slices. I think we've all fallen in love with them. Yeah. Well, very traditional. You know what you could do is. Put an embellishment if you've made any uh, homemade mulled wine around, you know, like uh, cups, if you put on yeah. uh, little cups or glasses just so people know which is theirs. Right, okay. So on this one, uh -huh. my fur branches are a bit long, but it's okay. So we've got that much on our brads. And I'm going to close that up. Yeah. So I could do, I'll have a look a minute, because it'll be poking out there and that's too long for my project. Yeah. So I only want it about there. Uh -huh. So it's okay, we can All cut right. them. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut them just there. I, lo I really like this sort of fern detail that you're able to inject. So I'd be putting these on everything. Well, fur is, you know, fir trees, Christmas yeah. trees, basically. That's what we think of at Christmas, isn't it? But I think you could use this all year round too, changing your colours. Oh, you yeah, could. yeah. Sorry. You know, no, the I silence agree with you. there, I thought I said something wrong. No, 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 I agree with you. No, I'm just concentrating. Yeah, Clay's like, I do not like this idea, using it all year round, no. just for Christmas. <laughs> what are you saying? No, but... Uh, what is this madness? Yes. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> But no, genuinely, you could, if you wanted to make something a bit rustic or give it a home feel, because obviously it's an evergreen, it's around all year round. Yeah, that looks good. It's, fu it's funny how we think of some foliage at, just at Christmas, but mm -hmm. yeah, like you say, they, they, you know, a lot of the flowers and that are out at different times of year too. So I just um, pop them on with a glue dot, which is, um, yeah. and a little gap to just pop my... Planner, that's looking good. So that jazzes up a little gift card holder, whether you've you know got one or uh -huh. um, have a die for one or whatever. But it's easy enough to make one. Um, just just slip your, your gift card in there. But it oh, jazzes it up a bit because we don't know what to get people very often. So yeah. we get them a gift card and then we think mm, it doesn't look very much. And I, don't, I really don't like just plopping a card, giving it. I yeah. want to give it in a nice way. Could you do me a favour, camera number one? Could you just hold that to camera number one so we can see it properly? Oh, now look, Plainer, that's amazing. So you put, do you know what I would be doing is exactly what you've shown. I'd make a card and then I'd put that maybe as a uh, topper on a card that someone can take off and then discover their gift. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely, but it's showing how easy it is to make. And that is a beautiful, what did you say it was, the uh, winter rose? What is it? Hellebore. It's a hellebore. Yeah. I didn't know that, I'm learning. Yeah, me okay. too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all learning. Uh, okay, so I hope you're enjoying this hour. It's been busy, and just, we bring you great stuff here, here at Chand. And it's, I know every time we launch a One Day Special, we really do try and bring you something that lives up to the billing. But I think on this occasion, Klein has absolutely knocked it out of the park. I did say, and I'll never lie about this, I'm a big fan of um, Kleiner's because whenever she comes in, she's developed a system, and this is just me as a crafter personally, I've never seen anything like this. The ease of use in being able, just with brads, to build up the wreaths. Now you're getting, with the one day special, all the dies in there, so 41 dies, saving 10 pounds. But, and this is a big but, and I do understand that a lot of you might already have nested circle dies, which is absolutely fine. If you do, I'd be tempted maybe to go for the one day special, but if you don't, you really need this in your stash. So just think about anyone maybe new to uh, crafting because what the nested dies do is they allow you to create the substructure of your wreath. So that's the back of the wreath, cut it out a few times so it's got some substance to it and then you're gonna be embellishing coming through. I'm just gonna pop that down for a second and show you another one because from behind, I keep looking at this one from behind 
Now, at the front, looks great. You can see that. But from behind, now look, you really get a sense of the depth of scale and how, what a difference the foliage makes, all those fern leaves going through. It's lovely. It's such a clever uh, concept. But then we go from our wreath. So re this is, and in my mind, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting really in the mood for Christmas now. So thinking about decorating your doors, great. But then we go to our hanging decorations. Looks beautiful. Same concept. You're not having, it's not a steep learning curve. You're doing the same thing with the wreath. It's exactly the same die set, but we're making our hanging decorations. Then we're decorating, so similar actually principle that Gaynor just showed you with the gift card, for our presents. But then we're going on to the Christmas table. So imagine this on your Christmas table. So you've got beautiful uh, napkin rings, and then you've got here uh, this around the candelabra, it can be anything in your home, just draping. So we deconstructed the wreath and just laid it around. It's such a good one day special. For the price as well, so whether it is the complete collection, I've got to point out with the complete collection, the £10 saving that you would have with the one day special already been factored in and if you are a Freedom member, you're actually saving, so with that £10 from the uh, one day special, £23 and have a look at the flexi price. Because with that flexi payment, your first flexi payment, thirty-five ninety-eight, you get everything. Or if you've already got the nested dies, Go for the one day special. I mean, it, you've got so many choices here. Kleiner, it looks like you're going to be doing a, a quick demonstration for us. Last one. Yes. What we got? Okay. I just, well, I've got a candlestick here. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to add a bit of foliage to it. Nice. Okay. You've got about four minutes. That's fine. Okay. So, doing again like we did before, I am building up from my smallest, well, through the, through the head. The, I'm using both the layers from the hellebore this time. So putting the green layer behind the stamen. And then I'm going into two pieces of holly. One coming at each end. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to go into two connectors. One going each way. As we're doing this, Kleiner, i uh, just got to let everyone know that with regard to the complete collection, remember this is the only second live hour of our one day special, 60% of the complete collection have gone. So uh, complete collection seems to be where a lot of you uh, are heading at the moment, but either way, one day special complete collection, you cannot go wrong. Okay. So right, you... I'm just going to put another flower together, uh -huh. but this time, I don't know. Yeah, we got that. If anyone, if you can see that okay. Yeah, then we can. But I'm just going to pop that through. That's very pretty. The two connectors. Yeah. Because that's all I need, really, because the holly is coming around. And I kind of get a sense, Kleiner, that once you've made the wreath or any component of the one-day special using the connectors, you can do anything. That was that quick enough make? Oh, what's so quick? Can you just spin it around just so we can see... Yeah. The connectors that you were showing. Yeah, so I popped oh, yeah. another oh, wow. flower on oh, okay. so you can't see them. Oh, perfect. Okay. So you can't... So it's just two connectors that yeah. are curved like this. Uh huh. If I put it on there. And just, I'm just conscious of the fact we always get new people joining us, but the connector is just part of the innovation of this release because then we're using our brads and what the connector does is allow us to, as the name suggests, connect the elements. Yeah, you've either got an eyelet in the end of your foliage or a hole in the middle of your flower. Right. So, and then you've got your connectors and that's all there is to this collection. Yeah. So, when you um, put the pieces together, mm -hmm. you're just linking them together with brads. So just whether we're using the eyelet, the hole so in the flower, all the connectors. So, if you were to put your brad through your flower, through yeah. your foliage, and then a connector on the back, yeah. to connect it to the next piece. Perfect. Like for it's your like wreath, bridge, if you just go around a spiral. It's really. So, see, see that? You're very, very clever, Kleiner. But the thing is, how quick was that? And there's no glue, there's mm -hmm. no messing around. There's, it's just quick and simple. Um, and, you know, you can make your home look really Christmassy. Uh, just little touches around the place. You're, the, I, I can only imagine, because I know how talented our viewers are, and I see the post all the time, uh, and a lot of you do follow me on social media, so please feel free. Uh, you can follow me on social media, so I'm on Instagram, Yanis Morgan, or it's Yanis Morgan on TV. 
But also me, we've got to follow Kleiner because you can we you can follow you on social media. How do we do that?